Yeah. And now in this corner, <laughs> representing. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know where to begin. I. I. I, I have to confess to you that part of me is um, fascinated by, you know, when I say contemporary, I mean in our. Can you put mic up? Oh, in our own time. I'm fascinated by contemporary discussions, particularly on the internet, about this whole rivalry between Edison and Tesla. Um, fascinated but also kind of befuddled about how to address it because what I see and read uh, is just chock full of mythology and, and misinformation and you know events that happen many years apart that are just kind of conflated in unfortunate ways and um, I have mixed feelings about it because I'm, on the one hand I think it's a good thing because it gets people to talk about these things that Bernie and I study all the time um, and we, we want that um, but also kind of facing the difficulty of how, you know, how you kind of correct that mythology. Um, one, other, one last point, and then I'll let Bernie talk a little bit. Because um, I know you just want to jump right in there. Um, this idea that Edison and Tesla were mortal enemies is just not true. Uh, look, can I, I don't know if we'll dispel this myth tonight, but there's just no evidence that there was this enormous rivalry. Uh, so let me speak to that before we even get to the ACDC controversy. <laughs> okay, so in, in the mid-1890s, about 1893, excuse me, um, Tesla gets in the mail a sort of postcard, so postcard size um, photograph of Edison. It's called the Carte de Visite. And, and Edison has indeed actually autographed it, you know, to, to, Mr., you know, to Nikola Tesla, best wishes Thomas A. Edison. And we know about this because Tesla writes home to his family in Serbia and he says, I must be getting somewhere. I got a postcard. I mean, I got a signed picture from Edison himself.